The first expression of Gemini is called freshness. And we get this for Gemini. They, they look at things differently. They're interested in, in everything that's going on and their opinions embrace all of the information and the experiences that they've had. And so they tend to have a, a fresh way of seeing things. And this is made really clear that the, um, the curiosity that they bring to life is, is the first degree of Gemini, the, the glass-bottomed boat. Just imagine looking down through a, a boat into the, the ocean beneath. And you're going to see lots of things that most people never see. And Gemini has that attitude of mind to, to just look for what has not been seen before. They like to be f fresh and interesting. And in the second degree, you move towards this, this sense that they get, the Santa Claus image, of there being abundance in life. Um, a lot of people see the earth as, as a place of scarcity. And the, the whole thing is that there's not enough. Whereas if you look, there is enough. There, there really is. There's plenty. There's an abundance. And this is the Santa Claus message, isn't it? Where we're taught to believe in generosity and kindness and abundance at least once a year with Santa Claus. And the curiosity brought to bear in Germany 1 brings about this knowledge that there is abundance. It's not just for us. It's universal. There's universal abundance on, on Earth. We're conditioning ourselves not to see that, some of us, but some of us do see that. We see that there's everything. There's anyone you'd want to meet, anything you'd like to learn, anything you'd like to do, anywhere you'd like to go. It's there. The only reason why we don't take it is, is for want of this fresh attitude to life that Gemini brings. Now, seeing the abundance that there is in life, we see that there's all manner of, of ways of doing things. And a lot of people think that certain ways are right and certain ways are wrong. And Germany doesn't really do that. It, it doesn't distinguish between right and wrong. It tries to understand the nature of things, the facts of the matter, how it all works, how it all hangs together. And one of the things that um, certainly is acceptable uh, is the, the whole attitude of hierarchy and privilege and the, the garden of the Tuileries. Um, represents that principle that the aristocrats have had that land for generations and taken care of it and sanctified it in a sense um, so that it continues to exist as an artwork in the landscape. That's the kind of stewardship they bring to it. Now Gemini would see the positive in that rather than other people that might see that privilege leads to distortion of the use of power yeah, yeah, sure. But Gemini's actually saying, yeah, but it also gives us really beautiful aristocratic kind of gardens that I like because they're different from everything else. And this is one thing about the aristocracy, certainly in England. They were eccentric. They, they used to make strange con contrivances out of land and monuments and weird art from times long ago. They were eccentric. So Gemini would approve of that. And yet, in, in a sense, the opposite principle, the, the world of natural wisdom, pagan wisdom, those who live outside of the city walls, pagan means outside of the city walls, the people that do not attend aristocratic gardens, but they, they know the true meaning of holly and mistletoe in a magical sense, what those energies are when to use them for magical purposes, healing purposes, spells. There's a group of people that know all of that. And they've always been persecuted. And, and Gemini would not know about persecution. It, it, it's, its attitude to all of these things is, well, does that work? Doesn't it work? I'm interested to find out what it means, what, who does it. So they bring that to bear on the, the pagan side of life as well. And this brings a kind of a a balancing of the mindset of each of these types of people. And, and this 
opens up a new way of thinking. So we come to the fifth degree, the, the radical magazine. And um, radical means at the root. And if you change your thinking on the shallow level, you just up and down on the realm of opinion and, and flavor of the month, uh, yeah, it doesn't really do very much, but on a radical level, if you actually change your thinking about the nature of reality, then it does make a difference. Now, freshness is not to be sneezed at. If, if we want to eat perfect fruit, we'll want it fresh. If we want a new experience, we want to know that it's not a copy of another one, or a borrowed version, or a a secondary interpretation. We want a, a new idea. We, we like fresh. Uh, a new dawn is fresh. We, we feel freshness to be the exaltation of the life force. So this is a, a non-trivial contribution to the, the wisdom of the world, to bring freshness. And we start with uh, a fresh mind. We, we look at things differently. The perception that we bring to a situation is what creates the reality of that situation. So this fresh mind that Germany brings is the vitalizing factor for continually updating our perceptions about the nature of reality, which itself changes moment by moment.